Hi, it's Amanda, the nail polish hound, and welcome to episode eight of In and Out, what has been coming in and out of my nail polish collection in the month of August. In these videos, I keep a track of my polish goals for 2020. Um, in the first one, I said I would sort and de-stash my stamping plates. I haven't done anything more of that in the last month. I'm supposed to be on a no buy for nail art and on a low buy for nail polish purchases. If I did buy any nail polish, then my rules were that I would have to de-stash two for every one that I purchased, and I had originally set myself a goal of spending no more than £100 over the year. My nail art no buy was intact up until the end of July. However, in August I needed to do a birthday mani for Louise Loopy Frog and my attempts at doing freehand frogs were pitiful so I did purchase some water decals of a frog um, for Louise's birthday. I think it's fair enough to let myself off of this one. Now looking at the polishes that I purchased in the month of August, um, first of all I have A England's King's Road um, and I ordered this after seeing it on Instagram. It is a very pretty polish with a strong linear holographic finish. A little bit difficult to pick it up in the bottle but it is very strong on the nails. In that same purchase I picked up this bottle of bow polish which was on sale. Um, I thought it looked very pretty in the bottle. It's got a very fine scattered holographic finish in it. Um, unfortunately though when I put this on my nails the colour really doesn't suit my skin tone which is a real shame. And my final um, polish purchase was Karma by ILMP and this is the reason why I made the purchase in the first place. I have been looking for a gold flake topper for a long time and I really do like this one. I'm wearing it here over a blue that you will see later in this video. Very pretty and no regrets. So having purchased three nail polishes, by my rules of one in two out, I have to find at least six to de-stash. My first two de-stashes are from Revlon and they are their Moon Candy Nail Art polishes. Um, this one is a purple with a purple flake. Um, now the other two that I'm going to show you, I've been a little bit cheeky and I've kept the flaky toppers which I did really like in this one, the orange and the pale blue ones. Um, but I didn't need or really like the colours that they were supposed to go over. So what I did was I kept the flakies and I have de-stashed the other polishes. So I'm going to count this as two de-stashes. My next de-stash is Prism Polishes Yippie Kaye. This polish was gifted to me by Claire. Um, it's incredibly pretty and I did enjoy wearing it, um, but I know somebody who will love it even more, so I'm going to be passing this one on. I don't resell any polishes that were gifted to me. Next up we have H&M Surfs Up and this is the polish that you saw ILMP's Karma over. It is pretty but again doesn't really suit my skin tone very well. I have other polishes that are similar but suit me better so this one will be passed along as well. Next we have Barry M's Crystal Blue and this polish was gifted to me by Barry M for swatching on Instagram um, and it's incredibly pretty in the bottle and I was really looking forward to wearing it but when it was on my nails it's just not the type of colour that I tend to wear. A little bit too blingy um, for every day and not blingy enough if I want some bling. So I will be passing this along to somebody else. Next for the de-stash was China Glaze's Beach It Up. This is a very, very pretty metallic polish with holographic bar glitters in it. Um, I do like this, but I have also got Dreamville by Cuccio and they are almost exact dupes of each other. Um, the China Glaze is just perhaps slightly more textured than the Cuccio um, and I think I prefer the Cuccio just a little bit and also the bottles take up slightly less space. So so the Cuccio is staying and the China Glaze is being de-stashed. 
also being de-stashed is that bow polish that you saw just a couple of moments ago. Um, it didn't really suit me, so I think I'm best to just sell this one on. Finally is KB Shimmer's Whole Lava Loving. This was gifted to me by Anna. Um, it's just not quite the shade of pink that I prefer to wear, so I'm going to pass this one on to somebody else who I know will love it. As well as those polishes that I'm going to de-stash, I've got a few that I have finished. First of all, we have Nails Ink in the colour Floral Street. Um, the last time I wore this, the end of this one has gone very gloopy and wasn't nice to work with at all. It is a beautiful true cream coloured polish, so if anyone knows anything like this, please let me know in the comments below because I don't have any other colours like this one. And in addition to that, I used up two more top coats. I've been trying to use up the random top coats that I've got sitting around um, instead of using the nice new ones that I really like. I was lucky enough to get some nail mail from the lovely Louise Loopy Frog in August. And uh, first of all, this beautiful princess nail lacquer called Summer Fruits, which she picked up for me. She knows that I love pink holographics and that I also love princess nail lacquer polishes. I really, really enjoyed wearing this one. It has got glitters and flakies in it and is absolutely beautiful. She also sent me this lovely ethereal lacquer and this one's called Passage of Mist. She knows I love my greys and she knows I love my flakies and I think this colour combination is really beautiful. I'm looking forward to wearing this one sometime soon. And the last one is a little mini prism polish magnetic. Um, I do actually already have this one but I really love it and I only have it in the mini size so I'm definitely keeping this one as a backup. So for August that brings my totals to one nail art item purchased, no stamping plates de-stashed, uh, three nail polishes purchased, 11 nail polishes de-stashed or finished and three from nail mail that I am going to keep. That makes my running totals for the year of one nail art items purchased, seven stamping plates de-stashed, 32 polishes purchased and 95 de-stashed or finished and 45 kept from nail mail or PR. So that makes a total of 77 polishes in and 95 polishes out. In terms of that £100 budget that I promised myself, um, it's still not looking very good. Um, I did make a few sales of de-stash polishes, um, but I spent a little bit more than that. So we are now £99.03 over my £100 budget. I don't think I'm likely to make that back up, but I do have a few more polishes to try and sell. Um, we'll see how close I get to bringing that back to zero by the end of the year. If you enjoy these types of videos, please like and subscribe. I do do an update every month. I also have other things like project polish going on um, and a number of collabs that I do. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you in the next one.